This is a case report of uh, Mrs. Tamina. She had uh, recurrent UTI and recently right lung pain. She's a 74 years old lady with overweight 35% BMI, uh, non bilateral large renal stones. And she had many comorbidities. Uh, on ascending urethrography, as we saw, the, there is a flower vase deformity of the kidney. And here, using the flexible uh, electroscope, uh, 7.5 French. The first session on the right side was done with a lasing at uh, 0.5 joule, uh, 10 hertz, and uh, 5 watts. In a session which took about four hours. And the first session, almost 50% of the stone was dusted and fragmented with the removal of most of the fragments. And after that, the double G stent was inserted. And after one week, the second session on the same side was done for the uh, remain of the stone. You can see here the healing power of the transitional epithelium, uh, lining of the kidney, and these are the remains of the stone. Also, the same lasing uh, power. The second half of the stone was done. Even in the narrow parts and most sticky parts of the stone, which is the lateral uh, anterior part. Patiently and cautiously, the stone was dusted and fragmented. Then most of the remaining part of the stone is removed. You can see here the large parts broken from the stone, which is dusted very well with good vision and good brightness of light. And this was the end result. The uh, most of the stone is removed. There is a compound calyx in the lower part of the right kidney seen after removing all the fragments. A double G stent is inserted again. And then after one week, I started to do the left uh, side. And this was the uh, stone, stag, stone, stone in the uh, left side. And this is the velvet part of the stone and the branches inside extending to the calluses of the lower part, moiety of the kidney. With the same laser fiber. But here I started with uh, 0.5 and then uh, increased the energy to uh, 0.8. After the first session, I removed almost half the stone and put double J. On the second session, one week later, I did the remain of the stone on the left side.
you know, increased the uh, power and energy to point to it from the start. This uh, part of the stone was a little bit of high matrix content. Most of the stone become busted and fragmented with the removal of the fragments. And before ending the session, I usually see under the CR if any remaining parts. Well, there was a hidden lateral, uh, lateral anterior fragment inside an anterior pellet. And actually, I could maneuver this area properly with the uh, 7.5 French Poisson scope to reach the stone and fragment the, and dust it. Uh, with the same power of uh, laser. Here, this is in a very difficult position. I can see the stone properly and laser uh, fragment. And this is the end result, uh, X-ray after removal of the double J stones. These residual fragments are of questionable uh, uh, area, whether to uh, have significance or not. And actually, I prefer the clinical definition of significance of these fragments. Uh, actually, the uh, flexible disposable retroscopes, mainly Poisson scope, allowed uh, properly to do a repeat procedure with high uh, efficiency, easier maneuverability, and least expenses. But the question is, uh, does seven point French scope have advantages over nine French scope? The answer is big yes. Thank you.